everyone, this is going to be a quick video showing you how to tie the chomosubi or butterfly knot. This one here is a knot that has shown up in quite a few samurai movies. And it does have a very nice look to it. This here is a knot that I used to use a lot when I first started Japanese swordsmanship. But I later stopped using it so much because it takes so much longer to tie than the regular knots. Now I know, of course, if you do this enough, I'm sure that you could get really good and quick at it, but the thing is, is this here can also put kinks into your sagio. So if you have a really nice sagio, you may not want to use this knot. Some sagios, like this one right here, is very hard to kink. In fact, this one here doesn't kink at all. But, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. There's quite a few variations of this knot. So right now I'm going to show you how to tie this knot and its variants. So without further ado, let's get started. So to do this sagio knot, what you're going to do is take the sagio, and first we want to make sure that it is even, and we go upward with it. Now from here, we go around, make sure once again that it is all stacked on each other to where it's not twisted. Make a loop and pull it through, just like this. And there's one. Now, to finish the chomusubi, or butterfly knot, you go around a second time, just like this. And now you have two loops. Now from here, take your sagio, and what you're going to do is fold it in half, and right up in these loops. So one, two, just like that. Pull it on through. You want it to look like that. Now from here, we tighten these ones down, so that's one. Two, and now make it even. Now you'll notice that my sagio is a bit long for this one. So there's another way that you can do this. So you bring the sagio up towards the top. Now from here, we're going to do the same thing that we just did. So you go one right here, pull it snug, still make room. What I do is I use my thumb, so I put my thumb in here and pull just like that. And that should give you enough room for when you're doing the rest of the knot. Now from here, here's your second time around. So same idea, keep it flat, using the thumb for your ruler here. And then go around, and we're going to go through a third time, as you can see. So this will take up more of that space. Now from here, take the sagio, fold it, and we go up and through all three of these loops. So one, two, and three. Now. From here, what you're going to do is pull this part down, just like this. First take the slack out, pulling this way, then you're going to pull down on this one. And you can see all the slack that was taken out right there. Now you pull down here, pull here, which is going to take up this slack. And you can see even more slack is taken up. Now pull down right here, and finally we pull here, taking up all that slack. Now you'll see there's even more space, as you can see. So pull all of this down. And now from here, 
we simply make sure not to pull these parts here through. So what I'll do at this point is hold here and pull just like that. There you go, there's your butterfly knot or chomusubi. If you so want to, of course, as you can see, there's the butterfly wings, there's the antennas. I have seen some who do it more like this, and there's nothing wrong with that either. I find this to be better, for example, maybe if you don't exactly like the look of having one up here and two down here, maybe you don't like that look. Or maybe if you have a sword that has a kozuka, which this particular sword doesn't have it, but it's a little knife that goes right here, and when I have a sword with those, I find that having one over right there gets in the way. So from here, what we do is make sure that our sagio is even. And now, instead of going up here first, we're just going to keep it all down here. So we go under, through here. There's your one loop. Two loops. There's your three loops. Now from here, you just fold that part and through these loops we go. And now from here we do just like we did before. So pull and you're going to need to get all the slack out of here. So that's one part done. On to the next one. There's two. There's three. Now from here, all we do is, what I do to make this easier is hold these two ends and pull, pull this part back. Pull, pull it back, pull, and just keep doing that until you get to where you want. So, there you go. There's three variations for the chomosubi, or butterfly knot. As I said, this one here is better for if you like keeping all three of them together like this. Maybe you have a kozuka right here, the little knife. Maybe you have a kogai right here, which is the little skewer. Or, as I said, maybe you just like the look of it better that way. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, not too difficult to tie. This can also be made easier if you have something like a Sharpie marker. So instead of using your thumb, take a Sharpie marker and put it up between the loops. I find, though, that with using the thumb method, it's really not that hard. So, I hope this was helpful and informative. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya!